everyone, it's Sherry Carroll for SimonSaysStamp.com and I'm already starting my holiday gift giving and I'm creating some felt coffee cups for my friends and family. We love to drink coffee so I thought this would be a really fun gift to give to everyone in their stocking. So I'm using a Starbucks coffee cup, one of their cardboard ones, and I opened it up and I've put some adhesive on the back side. And I'm using some Simon Says Stamp felt and this is one of the dark brown colors it comes in a three pack of browns and I'm also using the Tim Holtz shears it's really easy just to cut this out as you see I just put a little bit of sticky onto that that cuff and now I can really easily cut out the felt so I've done this on a few different colors of felt and I'll be decorating each of them a little bit differently the first one I'm decorating is a red one and I'm using the Tim Holtz distress brush pewter paint and I've put some onto my glass cutting board that I work on and I'm using a blending tool and I'm also using the Tim Holtz Pines stencil. So I'm starting in the center of the pines and in the center of the felt and I also want to tell you that the tallest part of the felt piece is the top so how it curves around it is smaller at the bottom just so when you go to decorate you'll know which is top and which is bottom. So I'll be reapplying the paint as I need it and I'm just going to push it right through the stencil with that blending tool. To complete the pattern on the piece of felt I have scooted the stencil over just to the left and I'll do the same off to the right. I have decided not to try to follow the curve of the felt. I've decided just to go straight with the pattern so that the trees will all line up. So when I pull that off you can see how this is starting to look. My stenciled trees are dry and the brush pewter paint it really shows up more of a glistening or a metallic once it does dry. So that turns out really nice and really simple. Another way to decorate is to use your Simon Says Stamp dies and this is for Christmas trees and they come all together. So I've die cut those with some green felt and I'll be putting those on a piece of brown felt. Also I thought it would be really fun to use the Ho 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 and this is a Kathy Zelski die set and that is called hose and so I'm using the larger one and I've just cut those from white felt. For the trees on my brown piece I'm using the tonic glue and this has a really nice fine applicator tip so that I can just add a little bit of glue at a time just in dots. So I'm going to just glue the center pieces of the trees down and then I'll be doing some stitching around the outsides. I will also be using the glue to tack down my ho-ho hose and I like it because it is such a fine line and it does work on these fine line dies. So I am just adding it in the main areas of the die cut and then I can flip it over and add it to the coffee cuff. If any of the glue comes out around the edges of the die just blot it up with a paper towel and that'll pick up any of the excess glue. For the tree cuff I'll be doing some sewing and I'm just using some white floss just to create some fun stitches onto the tree. I'm not really going in any regular pattern. I'm just going to just add a couple of these stitches just as an accent. I've decided for this one I'll do a blanket stitch around the entire piece of this brown felt and to do that you bring a stitch from the back and then you bring it forward and you create a loop at the top. So I'm going to go ahead and do this again make sure that's a little bit tight. So you start your stitch going from the front to the back and so I will push it through about the same width and about the same depth that I did for the first stitch. So once I push this through I'm going to try to make it so you can see this really clearly and not get my floss all tangled up. It's a pretty long piece. I wanted to cut this really long so that it would be I wouldn't have to re-knot it as I go through. Okay so now I have this pulled through and I'll run my needle right back through and again pull the thread or the floss right back through and this starts that blanket stitch. I'll do a couple more stitches so that we can get this going. So once again from the front to the back I'll pull this once again and I'm going to leave just a little bit of a loop and then I'm going to pull my needle right back through there and then pull it right back through and pull that tight and that seals off that top. I've continued the blanket stitch all the way around and I'm just going to measure up to about where I'll be sealing this off just to make sure that I have it covered enough. So I'll be sealing it off about right at that point. So I go ahead and knot off my blanket stitch at this point. To finish these off I am going to be using my hot glue gun and I'll be 
putting these together and I do like to use a cup and hold it around the cup so that I make sure that it'll sit just right the way that I want it to. So by holding the cup I will put that bottom flap underneath and I will seal that top part to sit right on top. So once I have that sealed I'm going to hold it for a second until that cools down just a bit. I'll do the same thing for my other two cuffs by just adding the glue and pressing that down. And it's really nice to use that cup as a handhold so that I can get some good pressure onto that glue. Here's a closer look at how these turned out. I really had a great time putting these together. I think that it would be a really fun family project to do as well. And using the stencils was quite effective. I thought that was a really great way to decorate these. So I hope I've given you some inspiration to pull out your felts and your dyes, stencils, and some paints, and create some gifts for your loved ones this holiday season. And as always, thanks so much for watching.